So we'll start the demo on planar construction. We're going to start off by looking at something that's already made. Duck Donuts cup. Uh, so it's nothing new here. People have been making pots out of clay or out of paper, sorry, forever. Um, this one's kind of nice because it's in different parts where you've got this kind of built-in insulator. with all of its branding built in already. And you kind of see that arc that would wrap around a cup. Um, and then from the Department of Redundancy Department, you can also have a paper insulator that goes over it, which does a similar thing. It's just a little bit less of an arc. Um, from there, we'll find its little seam. We're just gonna cut it open. Oh, I'm using this blade from Lowe's. It's the Lowe's brand. Um, I like it because it's easy to change. Flip this forward. And almost any time that you start with a new project, just go ahead and change your blade. They're cheap. They're like 20 cents. And it's a whole lot better than working with a shitty blade. So I got a new blade. They're already inside of there. Come on. Bam. All right, and then, all right, I'm gonna get back to work. So I'm gonna take it right down the side. And then I'm gonna try to peel it open. I might have to cut it again. So with this one, the paper wraps around and crimps, so I am going to go ahead and cut that. Mm, I don't like how that's going. I'm going to try to cut it up inside of here. All right, so you can see where the remnants of the bottom had folded up so that the top plane could wrap around. But I just cut that thing out of there. So again, you can make a pretty simple cup shape just out of any arc. Um, something that's really nice about these is they, go, they just roll that edge over and that gives you something to put inside your mouth versus something that would just fall apart um, if you didn't. So think about your edge work there as well, like this simple designer did. All right, um, when you start to deal with some raw material, there's a pretty good exercise I like to do, especially in the wood shop, where um, I'll have everybody take a little square of paper like this and I'll say, go ahead and cut a circle out of that. So there's different ways to cut a circle. I'm going to fold it in half. I'm going to go ahead and fold it in quarters. Um, now, somebody likes to take and cut a circle out of here. And this is a fine decision for right now. I've got my little tiny circle right here. No problem. But um, when I come back to this material, now I've got something really stupid, that it's a waste of material. So if you're going to cut something out of your paper, I could have cut this circle out of this corner and had 15, 20 more circles to cut out of that paper. Instead, I just made a really dumb piece of paper. So keep that in mind when you start to cut up your paper. Um, case in point, some foundations kid cut a cloud shape out of their foam core here. Now this piece of paper is gonna sit around the studio for, I don't know, months or a year because nobody wants to use this thing because there's this big dumb shape taken out of it. 
that big dumb shape could have happened right here, then these little things could have happened near it. So just think about your use of material. You don't have to uh, overthink it, but there's no reason to be wasteful either.